actually put the guinea pigs out on the grass today. I've been using this run for the rabbits a lot and they absolutely love it, but I thought I'd get the guinea pigs out because they love coming out on the grass. So they're all just enjoying the nice warm weather and it's just a good run, I think, for them because it gives them a lot more space than um, with this bit sort of joined on as well. So they're all just grazing at the minute. bunnies hi look at you two you all right so i am going to be building like their den bit soon again uh, i've got all the grids right here as you've already seen that will probably be in maybe i'll do that today actually because it does really need doing because it is not very safe up here at the minute and oh, look at them too they're cuddling that is so sweet I literally don't know how many are in here, but it looks very squished. We're about to find out. Oh my god, those four! <laughs> How'd you all fit in there? <laughs> There's like five in here now. <laughs> you can't all possibly fit in there, it's too small, guys. Oh, poor TK. Panda, you're such a bully. Oh, you alright, TK? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't fit in there, I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> There's five. <laughs> There's five guinea pigs in this one house. How is that possible? Look. You haven't realized that I took the house away. That is so cute. What are they doing? I can't believe this. <laughs> What are Six. The other two are in here. Oh, you're the sensible babies, aren't you? Look at you. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I cannot believe that there's actually six. Is it? Wait for the sandcastle. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Hey gorgeous, you're so cute. He loves his tummy rubbing. Don't you like that? You do? Do you want your tummy rubbing? Hey? What I feel, what I feed the gerbils. So, of an evening, what I do is I get the grains and seeds mix. So, you've probably seen the the recipe video I did for this. So, I take about maybe like three teaspoons of this. Yeah, you guys can't have it. They're so cheeky. Look at them. <laughs> so. Then what I do, some days, like maybe a couple of times a week, I give them some mealworms, which the skinny pigs definitely can't have. So there we go, that's just for their protein. And then each day they get a small handful, well not a handful, like just a 
a small selection of this. So this is basically the fatty nuts and seeds, like sunflower seeds and nuts and and stuff like that. So yeah, I just put a few of them in there and maybe like some nut pieces as well. Give them some walnut today. Oh, look at you. Oh, bless him. And then I also give them a handful of dried herbs. So that's about it. And I also give them fresh vegetables most days as well. So yeah, but not every day. And I do pretty much the same for Pingu as well. So yeah, oh, these guys are so desperate to eat this. So I do normally scatter it in the cage, but today I'll just put it in a bowl. Then it's easier. <laughs> Look at the skinny pigs. Where are you going, guys? <laughs> Sooty still stood on the edge there. Look at these guys, they're so cute. Right, so we'll feed Pingu as well. I'll just go get his food bowl, which is, here it is. We'll just empty that out, so. Oh. dominance going on here <laughs> be nice boys be nice <laughs> I think um Dandy's becoming the boss now he used to be Beano for definite but now I think Dandy's kind of taking over which is funny because he is a, a lot smaller than Beano but he's a lot more dominant now so that's interesting I know a lot of you guys have been asking to see more of Pingu, but honestly, because he's getting quite a lot older now, he's sleeping most of the time. He was just up, but he's gone back to bed. So I do need to do a cage clean, so let me know if you'd like to see that. I'll probably film that in my next vlog. So yeah, I will try and film more of him, but like I say, he's, he's getting older, so he's asleep a lot more than he used to be. He doesn't really get up very much now, so yeah, we don't see that much of him anymore. Bino, can you not eat the brush? Thank you. Get off the brush. Get off the brush. Cheeky. You are so cheeky. You are. You are. They're such little monkeys, honestly. They literally do it. Like, whatever you don't want them to do, they literally just... <laughs> what are you doing? Monkey. So it's actually the next day and I just have a question for you guys, hopefully you can help me out a bit. So basically, we will be going away during the summer holidays. Well, we're going away for a few days and I need something more secure for the rabbit's enclosure. So I have arrangements for, like the guinea pig's enclosure is really secure and everything. And the skinny pigs, I'm still deciding what to do with them because they are very high maintenance so I wouldn't be sure if I could leave them with anyone really so we're trying to see if we can take them with us to this little place that we're staying so that would be fun um, it, I think that would be quite good so hopefully we can take the skinny pigs but there is an issue because the rabbit's enclosure is not really secure and I'm a bit worried about someone you know forgetting to shut them in at night and stuff so we're trying to come up with a more secure option off the side of the playhouse. I've talked about this quite a lot before, but I was wondering your guys' suggestions. Where's the best place to get like a small, well not small, I kind of want like a full height run in a way, but 
it doesn't really matter. I'm just thinking of all options really. What could I put on the side of the playhouse that will be more secure and safe and that will keep them shaded because it can get very hot and that's what's concerning me. Um, all Pingu's just woke up. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions. So thanks for watching this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you guys soon.